welcome back to your account. Uh, in this video, we'll be going over the typical Fliplet workflow by way of the operations at the top in the edit screen. Uh, so let's jump right into our demo app. We'll be covering the edit, preview, and publish sections up here, along with the settings down here. Um, so after you create your app from a template, even a blank one, you will be brought to the edit page, which is the page that we are on currently. Uh, this is definitely the most complicated and most robust section of Flipwit Studio, so we'll cover a more detailed explanation in another video. Uh, but to give you a brief overview of the functionality, on the left over here you'll see all the screens within your app. You can drag and drop them to change the order. Uh, this doesn't change the order that they appear in the app, just the order that they appear on the left-hand toolbar over here. So the ones that you'll be editing most frequently uh, should probably place them at the top, but that's up to you. You can also add a screen by clicking this button here. And you can see that a new screen has now been added to our app. Uh, you can delete a screen as well by clicking the icon, the gear icon, rename it, duplicate it, copy it to another app, or delete. So let's get rid of that one. And in the middle, you'll see the screens as they would appear on a device. You can change the device preview by selecting from the previews in the middle. So you can change uh, from computer to tablet to phone. Let's switch back to the iPhone that we were on. Uh, and you can edit the content directly on the device by clicking or drag and drop new content from the components on the right hand side. We'll explain all of the different components in another video or you can play around with them in your account to get a better feel of how it works. I know I definitely learn better by experimenting myself, so maybe you're the same. Uh, the preview section up here at the right is how your app would appear on a different screen. You'll notice this section is a little bit darker than the other ones. This is so that you can focus on the content that is actually on your app screen over here. Um, focus on interacting with it. You can also change the device preview as we saw in the uh, edit mode. Um, you can download Fliplet Viewer on your mobile device uh, or your tablet as from any public app store to preview your app on a mobile or tablet. There's a step-by-step -step instruction if you click on the link from the right. And you can also invite your colleagues to test your app. It's always helpful to have uh, some external feedback because people might catch things or comment on the usability that you might not have uh, noticed otherwise. The publish section over here is where you will publish uh, your app to different channels. Uh, you only need to know about this when you've completed your app and we'll cover the finer details in another video. Um, finally, the app settings are where you would fine tune the administrative details of your app, like the logo, name, tokens, and security features. Uh, you can reach the app settings by clicking on the icon up here in the left. Uh, so you can see all the app settings there, or you can reach them from the edit screen and by clicking the gear from the right hand menu. There you go. Uh, so there you have it, a typical overview of the Fliplet workflow. So we will see you next time for the next video, which will cover a lot of this in greater detail.